back to the next episode of Waifu Wars. I am your favorite human demon lord, Dooby Doo. And I'm here to bust some ghosts with my loli, Sobroni. That sounded awful. Um, <laughs> and welcome back to uh, the Waifu Wars podcast, where we talk about all things anime, the good, the bad, and the weeb, but not your waifu, because she is trash. What's going on, Oni? Um, I have some allergies, so if you hear me suddenly go silent, and that's probably just because I'm having a sneezing fit and I muted my mic. How's it going with you, Drew? Um, my glasses are kind of weird and foggy, but I don't want to use, like, my wet wipes, because I only got, like, two left. (laughs) Concerning wet wipes, this is your little RPG moment. I can't use these high potions, the boss is coming up. I know, I gotta, I gotta, I just have to order some soon, and just, just do it. Just do it. Do it, do it. Um, yeah, so, like always, I'm excited to talk about animes and the things with you, so without any mm-hmm. further ado, let's get started. As always, we're going to start with our new segment this week in anime. Um, very quick, quick for me, according to, anime, uh, excuse me, according to Anime News Network, Attack on Titan, uh, My Hero Academia nominated for Hollywood Critics Association TV awards that are, of course, <laughs> definitely postponed mm. due to the writer strike. Mm. Um, but yeah, My Hero Academia, uh, they their season six was nominated, and the Attack on Titan final season for the final chapters, uh, special one. Is that the movie? Question mark. I don't know. They have so many final chapter parts. <laughs> but anyways, it it's nominated. Up to yeah, that's the one yeah. we saw in uh, May. Oh, the movie. Basically, I it, it, yeah. Basically, a movie. Yeah, it was a movie. <laughs> yeah, but they're nominated under best streaming animated series or TV movie category. They're competing against. Animaniacs, which is like <laughs> what? Okay, Central Park. I don't know what yeah, that is. That. Uh, Harley Quinn and Star Trek Lower Decks. Uh, the ah, uh... come on, Attack on Titan. Like, what the fuck is Central Park? Like, I was like, <laughs> is that is that supposed to be Central Park? I was, I was like, is this supposed to be South Park? But like, the rip off? Right. So it's an animated series about Central Park. Oh, and it's by the same person who did Bob's Burgers, I, as, I, as I can see from the artwork. Mm. Um, which, you know, is cool. I'm not against... Oh, I also love this cast. Um, sorry. <laughs> I'm not against, like, sure, why not? I haven't seen it. Maybe it's really good, but it's, first of all, it doesn't even matter what I think, even though I personally feel like, as much as I love Harley Quinn, and I do love me some Harley Quinn, do I think I hold the cake to attack on Titan? Yeah, it's not really fair. Yeah, and yet it's going to lose, because as I realized, the award shows are just popularity contests. Like, it, yeah. it all means nothing. So, I kind of wish I could see who's going to win, but I'm probably going to forget about this by the time this ever <laughs> airs. Like, because they don't even have a confirmed date for they the probably award won't ceremony. Even air. It'll, it'll get swept in the rug. I, Unfortunately. Yeah, unfortunate. But, uh. Eh. <laughs> <laughs> Eh, um, is that all my news? Um, also, well, yeah, I'll, I'll just say this one because I went through that very quickly. I was like, if this started a whole debate or whatever, then I wouldn't talk about this. But fun fact, also according to Anime News Network, Zordon from the Power Rangers, the actor... Uh, David J. Fielding made less than a thousand dollars on Power Rangers. That doesn't surprise me. <laughs> I don't. I don't imagine a lot. I. I feel like none of them made a lot of money on the original Power Rangers. They didn't, but like, 
it's very uh hmm. <laughs> it's mm-hmm. like it, it kind of shows exactly why the actors are going on strike because they don't want what happened to him happened to everyone else because that's literally what happened they're just like let's just record you and then we're gonna use your likeness and then you know yeah there were there were some, <laughs> that's it um, there was some woman on one of the marvel shows i think like playing a side character mm-hmm. on like one of the major marvel tv it was like loki or something yeah and she only got five hundred dollars she appeared in multiple episodes with speaking roles. I was like five hundred per episode. No, nope, five hundred dollars. <laughs> yeah. So. So I feel like their strike is justified. <laughs> yeah, and mind you, when I say a, he made a thousand dollars on Power Rangers, I mean like not filming that one day. I mean, and from here, from from the start of it to now. He has made yeah. less than one k, and I, and he was yeah. paid apparently, uh, what was it a hundred and fifty, uh, pre tax rate. So, yeah, that's that's what happened. Um, and they credited him for up to episode thirty one, but then when. But then when, I guess, he left the show... Oh, apparently he left the show in L.A. They removed him from the credits. Mm. Which is wild. <laughs> but yeah. yeah that's um, fucked up. Yeah. No, and then, they, and then the article goes on to tell how... Basically, everyone else was, like, paid in, <laughs> in crumbs. <laughs> like, what, what did the Pink Ranger say? Uh, she said, <laughs> okay, she said, despite the fact that this was a non-union television series and I was paid peanuts and almost died a few times because of the makeshift low-budget stunts we performed, I am forever grateful. <laughs> <laughs> and then she said, P.S., free, feel free to cast me in any upcoming sequels. I believe I'd make a wonderful villain, and I hear it's the union. Uh, that's pretty funny. Uh, well, yeah. Also, yeah, that's wild. Mm-mm-mm. So yeah, pay pay the pay the actors what they're what they're owed. In the meantime, I will be watching uh old TV shows until y'all until Hollywood gets their shit together. Ooh, they, get, they get paid in clout. They get clout. paid in clout, guys. <laughs> it's you just can't, a... you can't put a price on fame, <laughs> right, guy? It's just no, no. Wait, no. I'm not gonna say that. Ooh. <laughs> <laughs> um, but yeah. So pay, pay, pay the actors, pay the writers, pay everybody. <laughs> mm. Period. All right, Oni. What do you got for us? In slightly lighter news, there is a new season of Sword Art Online Alternative. Ugh. Yes, SAL Gun Gale Online is getting a second season. And unlike regular SAL, this isn't trash. For those of you who haven't seen uh, SAL Alternative, I would highly recommend it. Cause... <laughs> no, it, you <laughs> it has nothing <laughs> to do with Sword Art Online. It might as well not even be called Sword Art Online. <laughs> I don't. It's like what if the sort of online, but it was good because there's no Kirito, so they can actually develop other characters. All uh, I remember really is that this girl goes into a a gun game, but she like shot someone in real life. And... <laughs> exactly, it's real. It's it's, it's traumatic. It's real drama. It, yeah, it's like a okay. main. The the main character is a really tall Japanese girl who plays a lowly online because she's so insecure about her height. And then, I don't know, just goes on fun adventures in Gun Gale Online that uh, kind of crosses over into her real world, and she gets caught up in a bunch of crazy scenarios. There's also a Yandere. So. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Guys, there's also a Yandere. There's <laughs> also a Yandere Loli, so you know, I'm in on it. Yeah. Oni said that he went on for covering it, and I'm just like, cover, cover who? <laughs> 
cover what? We're, we're gonna we're definitely gonna cover this when it comes we're out. We're going to sure. cover 100%. the table with the tablecloth because we're about to eat. Hundred percent. We're going to cover, cover on the, the anime opening song on our YouTube channel. Yeah, huh? <laughs> totally gonna cover this. Yeah, we're going <laughs> to cover the food before the ants start getting into it. I understand. Yeah, get it. gotcha. <laughs> All right, now that we're done with our news, it's time for our weekly reviews. Um, I'm going to start off with Jujutsu Kaisen Season 2, Episode 2, which is my episode of the week. What? That's a surprise. Yeah, like, <laughs> of course, yeah, it, it, it was just really funny. Like, it was just... Yeah, it was surprisingly funny. It was, yeah, that... I I was like, was the original? I feel like the original wasn't this funny. I feel like it wasn't. I mean, Oni's gonna. I know. will be the judge of that. Yeah, right. Exactly. <laughs> Oni will let us know. I feel like this show is just Chainsaw Man, but better. It's like Chainsaw Man, yeah. but with like a little bit more action and better comedy. Yeah, for sure. Which you know that that at least aligns my expectations of the series. Yeah, um, like, Suguru and Gojo are just, like, busted dude bros, just doing busted dude bro things, essentially. Um, oh, excuse me. I do like the new girl who's introduced, what's her name? Yuriko. Yeah, yeah, Rico. She's yeah, she's, cute. she is great. Her and her maid, excellent additions. A hundred percent. Um, yeah, I think the one thing that sold it for me was when <laughs> Kojo, like, interrupted, like, the singing class and all the girls just, like, lost their shit, including mm-hmm. the teacher who snuck the phone <laughs> up. I was like, can't you, like, she, get she, in trouble, like, She has a point, though. She doesn't have any, uh, she doesn't have many opportunities to find men. She gotta take advantage. But <laughs> he's also in high school... <laughs> He's what super powerful sh- god magic guy. He can fuck a school teacher, all right? That's not he how has that the works. past. He has the past. That's not how that works. And I it's not him I'm worried about, it's her. So, <laughs> <laughs> like girl, if you have to try to get with a, a teenage boy just because he's pretty, mm, mm. I think you need help. Also, I think you shouldn't be a teacher. Maybe. <laughs> I don't think you should be a teacher. Um, I, I do love that. So for me, whenever it comes to Shonen series, typically I don't like the whole power level. Like, oh, this guy is super powerful. and you da, 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 da. Like Naruto used to do a lot of. But if the show doesn't take itself that seriously, I kind of love it. Kind of like how Fairy... That's why I love Fairy Tales so much. Because it doesn't really take itself that seriously. And that's the kind of vibe I get from this. Like, there's a ton of power level Shonen antics. But it never gets too hung up on it. And it's just like, we're just having fun with the fights. Yeah, as uh, Xavier went to great lengths to explain, Gojo is very much uh, like the Urza of this series. Yeah. <laughs> Except he just doesn't get nerfed. They just like kind of just move him somewhere else. You go over here while we do our plan over there. So yeah, um, yeah, and like I said, they 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 just they just make it fun. They just make a bunch of jokes out of it because, it, like you said, it wouldn't make any. It'd be kind of lame to, you know, make them like have make it all serious when they're already shown as broken in the original series, which I appreciate. Like that's why I I can forgive it. It's because they already like in the original series. Like, they're both arguably the strongest characters. Mm. You know, one of them being Gojo and Tsuguru, who's, like, the main villain. So, yeah. You know, it checks. It makes sense that they're both OP, batshit broken. And, yeah, it's like they're just having fun. Like, they're just very kids about it, which makes it very fun and very refreshing. Like... Like at the beginning of the episode, where he's like, "Ah, oh, well, 
bear is even stronger than me. Ha ha ha. And then <laughs> Suguru's like, is this bear? And then you just see Gozro posing with bear beaten up in the background. Yeah. I I also like the um the villain that they introduced this episode that's just like spent the whole episode just chilling, betting on boat races. And losing all of them. And <laughs> losing all his money. But that's the thing, like he was intimidating. Well, he was comedic for like 90% of the episode, but then when he had to be intimidating, he was legit intimidating. Like when he bumped into the one guy and like made him drop his ramen and he just like knelt down next time, like what? Say something. And then just got back up. Right. And then just proceeded to get get tea as if that didn't happen. Yeah. And then sat back down, like what? What you gonna do about it? Period. I really thought I was like, oh my god, please don't kill him for no reason. I was expecting <laughs> it. I thought his head was just gonna fall over or something. Right, exactly. Um I also like that even though at this point Gojo is still bullshit broken, he's still not a hundred percent. Like you could you could tell or at least the episode establishes the fact that he can't he hasn't quite mastered his powers just yet. You know, as he explained what his powers do, he explains like, oh, you know, if I fuck up the vectors, I don't control properly, you know, the 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 black hole I, I meant to make can kind of destroy everything. Yeah, as someone who plays a lot of Toho, or used to, any power that has to deal with vectors and math is automatically just OP, so I get the point. Exactly. Um, and then... <clears throat> excuse me. Yeah, and then when he tried to do his, like, attack, and he did the color, and and when he saw the color, I was like, oh my god, da 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 Because, you know, I was, as someone who watched the series, bitch, I still kind of remember when he said, I think, what color did he say? Like, blue or white, and some shit happened. So I saw red, I was like, uh-oh. And then he was like, oh, <laughs> I failed, and just punched the guy. <laughs> Oh, uh, yeah, this was just, it was just a very fun episode to sit through. Yeah, I enjoyed it a lot. Yep, yep, yep. All right, up next, we have Mushoku Tensei Season 2, Episode 2. Um, Mr. Quagmire. <laughs> Giggity. Right, I was like, dude, I'm like, the fact that I mean, they're both perverts. <laughs> I can't tell the so guy who, <laughs> yeah. did, who made this did that on purpose. It is called the Quagmire. Totally, I doubt he's a, a, a Family Guy fan, but I, it works unintentionally. Real, hello, hello, have you seen Rudy? It was I. <laughs> I would. I'd be shocked if he wasn't uh, a Family the, Guy. The fan. Family Guy. The Family Guy. Mushoku Tensei crossover is happening. I wonder. I wonder if they. <laughs> not me about to. Not me about to look up Family Guy dubs in Japanese. Mm. <laughs> Gig it. Gig it you. <laughs> yeah, look at the uh, Japanese dub of Family Guy. Oh, God, <laughs> oh Yuki's great. Lewis. <laughs> Are you kidding? Is- no, no. <laughs> Pizza! <laughs> mm. uh, but yeah, this was the the Sarah character building episode. Yeah, the the Sarah likes us now. So we broke Absolutely. the Sundre. <laughs> yes, her, <laughs> her to our will. Her soon phase is over, and now she's just dead. <laughs> yeah, as as we saw at the end, she's now just a Rudy Stan. Right, she, she's come full circle. She went from chewing him out every time she sees him to defending him over the slightest mishaps. <laughs> Right, when homegirl is like, hey, why'd you go and save da da da? And Sarah's like, bitch, he Don't saved my life. Bitch, he just Leave saved my life. And what, the, and what the fuck were you doing? What were you doing? That, for real, were you... though, what were they doing? No, <laughs> they don't seem like they were that pressed. Like, I mean, there was a blizzard. Like, they couldn't do anything, but they didn't realize that Rudy was so batshit powerful. He could just. just Dissipate a whole blizzard with just a wave of his wand. Oh my gosh. Um, which, speaking of, that one, that one ass, I think his name is Conrad. Ooh. Ooh. Emotional damage. Uh, an asshole? The, yeah. The guy who literally, has, I think he's just bipolar. <laughs> he is extraordinarily bipolar. I think... 
You know, that wouldn't surprise me if he was, because he really just went in a... It, it's like, he's... It's either that, or he's just, like, ungodly, like, perceptive. Because he literally was just like, you just half-ass everything. You, like, he's like you just fake it. <laughs> like, you're just a fake. Stop smiling. He was a little bit overboard, you know? Just no, saying. oh, absolutely. No. <laughs> he was a thousand percent doing too much. Like, the way, like, I mean, literally from day one, he, like, punched Timothy in the face. Yeah. That, that's our kill. Arrgh. And then. Oh, sorry, I punched you in the face. Okay, he apologized. And then he apologized again. Yeah. To, and then he was, like, all over Timothy to the point where it was, like, Giving homoerotic vibes, like oh, slightly. How am, like, gonna, how am I gonna make it up to you, Timothy? <laughs> like, yeah, let me make it up to you with my body, you know. <laughs> but then let me, show, let me show you where else I can put my fist. <laughs> oh, gross. Um, <laughs> I'm just gonna no, skip along. Don't judge, I... don't judge Conrad and Timothy. <laughs> I'm, it's, it's not Conrad and Timothy. I'm judging, honey. Trust me. <laughs> <laughs> but then he just turned around at Rudy and was like, "You half-ass bitch!" <laughs> like, <"Rrr." laughs> I, I like the implication that he's like he realizes that Timothy is a genuine bitch. He's like, "You just you're just really soft." But he goes to Rudy. He's like, "But you're not. You're pretending to be a bitch. Stop pretending." I mean, yeah, he knows that Rudy got that dog in him. I don't know if that's encouraging or not. Not the way he went around. He went yeah, about like, it. No, I feel like there, there's better ways of encouraging Rudy. To... I mean, I mean, it worked kind of. Not really. It only worked because Sarah, Sarah was in trouble. <laughs> yeah, right. Yeah. Yeah, I was really thinking. I'm like, oh my god. I I saw like <laughs> the the twitching on Rudy's face, and I was like, get that Matt, was actually a really good scene. Matt, like, yeah, he, he was like. Matt. Visually showing, like, I want to get mad. Yeah. Man. I wanna... yeah, but at the end of the day, I guess he's just very Japanese. <laughs> yeah, the Japanese is coming through. Um, I, I think the show's doing a really good job of balancing Rudy going through his uh, depressive phase while still not making it overbearing. You know, like, we're going through all the stages of his grief without feeling like, but I'm not feeling like, ugh. Hurry up and get back to the action or get back to the good stuff. Like this whole thing is still good. Like I'm yeah. enjoying. It. Usually I get I get uh taken out of it a bit when it's the depressing part of the show. Yeah, and it it was like an episode. Like it was like an episode or two of it, and the depression wasn't too bad. It seems like he's especially now that Sarah's all all over him. He's like, oh my god. He has a new god, Roxy. (laughs) Down with with Eris, up with Roxy. Basically. (laughs) Ah, I like that the the panties aren't even sexual for him. It's It's not. They're literally just like a a sacred object. (laughs) Right. That just represents the fact that, like. That uh, Roxy is with him, like like yeah. a rosary, like a rosary. I was deed. just gonna say, you know, how people walk around with rosaries in their pocket and then exactly. they like, touch them and do the rosary prayers. That's him with the panties. That is him with the panties, and now he went and made a shrine to it. Hmm. Uh, I'm wondering what? what's gonna go inside the shrine. What else? I feel like it'd be a little too predictable if it's just another pair of panties. I was gonna say, what's the over under on? On Sarah dying and or fucking him. Fucking uh, that that was that would surprise me. Uh, they came close. Listen, they were naked in a cave for a good while. <laughs> yeah, and the moment, the moment that and at some moment she realized, oh, I've been naked for a very long time. <laughs> Clothes on. I'm just saying. Once once you break the sundry, it doesn't take very long. Either, like that, one of those things is yeah. gonna happen. Either she's yeah, yeah, die. no, no. That's literally what I was gonna say. Death or sex. Yeah, I agree. <laughs> I'd be shocked if neither happened by the end. Of... Yeah, like she just like fucks off. Like, all right, bye guys, bye Sarah. Yeah, I actually have a feeling she's gonna die, and he's gonna put the earring, like her earring, in the in the uh, altar because they focus a lot on her. Like her earring is like her symbol. Yeah, everyone has a symbol. Roxy has panties. 
uh, Eris has her hair, and Sarah has fucking the earrings. Earrings. <laughs> oh my gosh. Uh I know we're not gonna hear from Eris for a while, but it's like, oh god, I literally fantasize about them meeting up with each other, and it's just like <laughs> so awkward. <laughs> It is gonna be so great. Oh God, I I can't wait till season eight when they meet back up in the whole right. awkward way. <laughs> right, and then she basically, I feel like in my mind, there's just gonna be like another. She's gonna look just like her her teacher. I forgot yeah. what her name is. Just really stacked. Speaking of which, in the in the where they were picking up the the dragon scales. Did that one building not look like? That's why I said I I I feel like no one caught me when I said that. When I said like, huh, those breasts look very familiar to me. I did hear you say that. Huh? I did hear you say that. Yeah, no, there was a statue, and it looked like Eris's uh teacher. I forget, I really forget what her name is. No, it was a statue of um, Loli, Kirisha Kiriku. Wait, were her breasts big? No, that's why he was pointing out. He was like, oh, that's not really realistic. Oh, okay, got you. Got you. Because the, the, the size and the cut of the bikini. Yeah. Like, that was... They look uh, similar Gish, Gishlane. Gishlane. Yeah. yeah. It, it they was exactly like Gishlane's. That's why I was like, huh, I've seen those breasts before. A lot of the, a lot of the uh, demons just walk around with like a little piece of fabric over their chest. No, apparently. Apparently <laughs> so. Oh my god. Also, rest in peace, Mimir, the, 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 oh, yes. the healer peace, who said god, had god. less than five lines. <laughs> less than two? I don't even remember him saying anything. <laughs> yeah, me neither. But he what? had to... No, he said... His healing spell. <laughs> they should do like a little in 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 memoriam and just like have his lines like in black and white and just fucking hi hey, Rudy, bye Rudy, <laughs> <laughs> and healing, and that's it. <laughs> July twenty twenty three to July twenty twenty three. Ah, yeah, I'm I'm glad I'm glad that Rudy feels. He's he's getting to the other side of things. Yes. And then saving he's Sarah, saving. he saved himself and all that jazz. Yep. All right. Up next, we have Dark Gathering episode. Oh, we have one before that. Excuse me. We have Undead Girl <laughs> Murder Forest episode two. Um, I really like this anime. I really like this, this anime. I like. I will tie um, this with my episode of week with something it, else. It, it was, I was really close to making this my episode of the week. It was really fucking good. It, it was, was really, so really good. good. <laughs> and it, it, I've ne- like, can you just say that? Can we, can we just both agree that like Sugaru is like carrying the whole show on his back at, at this moment? <laughs> Featuring Aya. Like Aya, she's in there too. But Sugaru, he's just such a troll. Yeah, he's a little... <laughs> Clown. He's so <laughs> un- he he is as the kids would say he is he is so unserious. I like when they were doing the whole like, okay. So, first off, though, I don't have I don't have a body still. We got to use your hands to make me make my points. And he's like, I'm out of fingers. fingers. <laughs> She's like, use your tongue. <laughs> Step on some leg. <laughs> Do the hokey pokey. Yeah. Like he is oh. So- he is so funny, and th- them two together, it's like they, I'm like, don't ever be apart from each other. Yeah, they weren't. Again, they have that really strong uh, vibe like we got from, what's the other detective anime we're watching? Inspector? Excuse me? Kyoko Suidi? With the other yes. supernatural detective. Yes. Yeah, they have that same yeah. vibe. Yeah, except he's just very serious. Except we're Usually... first, because he's the silly one. <laughs> And she's the serious one. Yeah. Yeah, and then and then like the maid just has like those small comedic moments mm-hmm. <laughs> where she purposely puts his his shit floor. down, and she's like, carry, she's like carry your shit yourself, mm-hmm. and then she's like, nah, I carry his too, and she's like, fine. <laughs> yeah, and I love. Oh my god, super biased, but finally I can relate to the, the fucking monster stories because. All these times we watch these detective 
like shows with the supernatural stuff, it's always in Japan. It's always like, oh, Yukiona, oh, Kappas. And I'm like, I don't know what any of these things are. But we're in Europe now, so it's like vampires. I know what vampires are. I can I can be engrossed in the uh in first the of myth all, now. <laughs> first of all, in Kuroko City, they literally spend like at least half to the whole episode establishing. Yes, and that's the other part that I love about this over in Kyoko City. They spend so much time in Kyoko City being like, here's the lore of Yuki Onas for half the episode. In this, they're like, listen, it's a fucking vampire. You know what a vampire is. We know what a vampire is. We don't need to spend time talking about vampires. Like, everything gets wrapped up in, like, one or two lines, and they just keep, keep going. going. Yeah, I got you. Like, I was like, oh, are vampires common in this world? And then the vampire walks outside, and there's a bunch of reporters, and they're like, whoa, how are you going to report this to the police? I'm like, oh, I guess they're common in this world. I didn't need, like, a 15-minute intro telling me about vampires. Yes, sir. So, it just streamlines everything. Yeah. Um... See it. <laughs> I laughed at the opening uh, scene when he was like using a rifle and he just said, fuck this. <laughs> Jump jumped the deer. <laughs> he said, fuck this shit. The mystery is also genuinely pretty good. Yeah. Like, I went back and forth on who I think the culprit is a couple of times. I mean, I still don't know who it is, but I, I obviously it's just someone inside the house but yeah i'm leaning towards the the son the little kid not not the girl the the kid how the blonde kid was with him like the entire time he didn't establish when the murder happened oh you're right she said she said she said the right Right, 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 right. Because at right. first I thought it would be one of the servants, but I'm like, no, that's too obvious. Yeah. That... That is... Hmm. <laughs> yeah. I mean... Yeah, she... Yeah, I probably... It definitely... It's definitely one of the... In my mind, it's definitely one of the kids. Because, like, no defensive wounds, no nothing. Mm-hmm. Yeah, it was somebody who could just like walk in and it didn't trigger her at all. I mean, that's everyone in the house, but I would say even more so the the kid. Yeah. So yeah, it, it's I'm I'm excited. I'm excited. I'm li- I'm very excited for the next episode. Same. I'm really, I'm really happy we chose this. So yeah, far. we got it. Work so far. It's working out. Yeah. It's only two episodes, but they've been really good. Two episodes. Okay. Up next, we have Dark Gathering. Um, which was my that's... other episode of the week. Really? Okay. So Year two. Um. So, Hitaro. <laughs> I I I wrote this in my notes. I was um, I was basically was like, oh, so yeah, Yoi is essentially like the Jujutsu Kaisen main villain. Yeah, I and, mean, and, she's all about curses and fucking and, killing ghosts and and keeping no, it's in the fact that she keeps them, just like yeah, that's it. yeah. Mm-hmm. Um, yeah, and to, and and the point of. She literally broke down all those those statues just so she can catch the big bad spirit. <laughs> Get these fucking protecting statues out of here. I need to catch right. these ghosts. <laughs> you know, Grandma did not fuck with her at all. No. <laughs> and to be honest, I don't blame her. I would have been like, no, go, like, leave immediately. <laughs> Somebody uh, shows up to your temple, like haunted by like a bunch of spirits, and you're like, "What the fuck? Get out of here, you haunted ass child!" <laughs> Period. Like, <laughs> I'm just like, and look at your eyes. Look at these spirits around you. No, you can stay at the. You can stay at the entrance. <laughs> yeah, don't step any further. <laughs> I'm like, girl. You know, wh- you know what you can't beat with spirits: the police, which I will call. <laughs> I. 
I like that the show maintains a really good creepiness factor. Like, it, it does a lot, where it's like, one minute it'll be nice and wholesome and cutesy, like that whole montage of them on the way to the temple, where it's like, oh, we're going to play the cutesy music, and they're going to go eat dinner together and stuff. And then it will immediately switch to really creepy fucking gross shit in a second. Like, the R, like, uh, Keitaru's R, uh, man. Yeah, that was so gross. I would say my only, that's like my only gripe about this so far. I mean, we're only episode two in. It's not scary. It's just gross. <laughs> like, yeah, it's just... I will say. So I read ahead in the in the manga and stuff. Mm-hmm. It's not necessarily a horror in the way like Higurashi is a horror, but it's extremely creepy and it gets creepier. Yeah, I mean, yeah, it it it, it, it did creep me out. out like the whole, haha, these are his nerves mm. that we had to cut off, and I'm like, by the way, I'm like, <laughs> I I'm like, don't I feel like you need like a neuro, like a neurosurgeon to like partake in that. You can't just like. <laughs> Nah. Feel the spirit and then start chopping off <laughs> they nerves. Got a magic sword and prayers, Drew. Well, who needs a surgeon? They got anesthesiologists. Yeah, they, right. I was like, okay, <laughs> you might as well just get the neurosurgeon at just that point. Numb that, numb that shit, and give me the sword. We're cleaving these nerves off. <laughs> that was so. Yeah, that was wild. That was wild. And then the whole like, oh yeah, like. <laughs> They possess anything that's living, so I took his nerve. Well, first of all, that doesn't make that doesn't really make any sense. Nerves aren't like the, you know they they the, the said nerves were severed. But she tied Sorry. the doll together with the nerves, so it's like the nerves are part of the doll. Sure, okay. <laughs> I feel like that's. The anime logic a bit, but listen, Drew. There's also not really ghost dolls. All right, you gotta suspend your disbelief a little bit. <laughs> okay, I'm just like you know, everything made sense up until this. I mean, well, it makes up until sense. I, I guess episode the two. dolls are connected by the nerves, and therefore anything you touch on the doll will react. Sure. Okay. Um, <laughs> if, it, if it works for you, I guess. Um. Yeah, and then the whole when he got possessed and <laughs> it all said, "Eat my hair." Yeah, that's also why I really like this because I I was afraid they were gonna cut away from like the the grosser aspects, like that fucking hair eating scene. Actually, no. comfortable. D- yeah, agreed. <laughs> like they 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 literally showed a. The endoscopic the, the, <laughs> Yeah, right. If anyone to it, went to the X ray tab, like <laughs> Yeah, like oh here's the here's from uh, the camera inside his throat so you can see the hair going down. <laughs> Pretty gross. I do say so myself. Yeah, yes. no. This is all set up for where it's leading to, so I'm looking forward to seeing the, the great parts get animated. This is all just build up. Oh man. Yeah, I am. Yeah, I'm looking forward to it as well. Um, I just wish they could do like some cool cuts. Like, yeah, I, I don't know. That's like my only thing. Maybe I feel like I'm, I'm, I'm gonna try to really not compare it to Higurashi too much. Don't I'm compare really to Higurashi. It's not a. It, it's. I just wish. I just wish it was like be a little. Like it doesn't have to be like super. It's just, horror in the sense that it gets more graphic and like. Like, I just want, like, a quick pan shot to, like, someone making, like, a crazy face for a second. I mean, we got that in the first episode. <laughs> I know, I want more. Uh... I want more. It, it sort of does that some... It's gonna lead more into the gore, gore and... Yeah. Gore and gross-out stuff. But it is uh, creepy. Okay, I guess. All right, it's true. I listen, I just said... It has, want, kind of, it has horror I told you what kind of horror I want. Saying, Don't be mad at me just because <laughs> give it's it not a my cup, may not be my cup of tea. 
Give it a chance. Well, if, we, if we get some cool episode and you're like, oh, this is not like Higurashi, though. Left to be determined. It's not Higurashi. It's, it's not, not Higurashi. Trying. I don't want it to be. I don't want it to be Higurashi. Higurashi. I just want that. I just want those. I just want those moments where I'm just like, oh shit. Like, <laughs> I just okay. want. I, I don't want to play any of it. This is just a build up. Let's put it that way. This is yeah. all building the blocks to. The, the show hasn't even started yet. I don't, right, I know. I, I'm aware of this. I'm not, I don't have any expectations yet. I'm just, I'm just saying this is what I would like when I'm watching a horror show. <laughs> I, you know, just in general. Not even this anime, just in general. Fair enough. All right. Up next, we have Dekiru Neko. Uh, episode 2. Ah, uh, it's so funny how like I feel like at the core he's still a cat. Like, because yeah, in so my mind this food. is in my mind this is literally this is high key just cat behavior. Like he's like, yes, I will do everything so my human, because she ain't shit, but she still needs to go out and make this money so I can eat. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, he is very cat like in his thinking. And I, and I and I love that. I love that. Love that for him, especially considering everything he does for her. Oh God! I love how they emph- kept reemphasizing just how disgusting her room was before he came. Like, it, you know, from the moment where he came in, where or she, where they both came in from the snow, and then he just sees all this garbage. Which, <laughs> by the way, that is so dis. Like, if anyone lived like that, like, I can't believe Japanese people live like that. I really can't believe it. I don't want to believe it. I'm not asking I mean, it anyone. depends to... on the person. No, I can't believe, like, because no, they showed this in anime way too much. You know? Mm. It showed way too I've never seen this in an American show where they're just like, ah, oh, come in my you've never, room. You've never seen Hoarders? <laughs> but you see, there's, you see how there's a show specifically about those kind of people? But in Japan, it's like, oh, I just a little bit messy, and then they're just all this, like they're all hoarder. Like it's not even hoarders; it's just trash. Like, it's hoarder just... trash. Like how can you just not take out garb? How do you just not take out garbage? How do you just not take out garb? Like she's too busy drinking. She doesn't have any garbage. No, no, what? No, like Oni, and and, and there's no shade to you. Your old apartment in Astoria, on its worst day, was not that. First off, that was because of a certain roommate of mine. Second off, plural, true. but okay. <laughs> um, but yeah, that was, that was, yeah, I, I don't know, I, I think maybe I'm just a little bit more shocked that, like, a girl's place was, like, that bad. I think, like, I I guess, yeah, the whole gender thing. Like, I don't know why. I don't know why I, I kind of accept it more for a man. Like, I don't accept it for a man. It's just, like, it's not, but it won't, like, shock me. If that makes any sense. As opposed to her, I was, like, floored. Like, this, like... As someone who's seen this in many anime, I don't know why this hit so hard. Maybe because everyone else like rubbed it in, including the chief. He's like, he was like, I would never do anything with a girl with an apartment like that. And I'm just like, that part. <laughs> Cause what the fuck? Mm-mm. Just. Oh, it was. Yeah, it was gross. Um. Also, I'm really gagged that everyone is just allowing this cat person to go out in public. Like, I, I like the, the notion that it's always just like, oh, he's just a furry. He's just a guy who's a furry walking around. Right. And everyone's just okay with it. And it's like, what? No. I can't. I feel like in the real world, no, he would just get, the police would, police would just be called. I feel like. Do you th- do you think like 
Do you think people could just go shopping in in? Yeah, I don't cow. think you would call the police. There's no Karens in Japan. Um, hmm. That is yet to be seen. Um, I don't know. That was it. Was just very. Yeah, I mean, it was entertaining enough scene. Like homegirl who works there, she was over at Rio, I think they called her. Rio was over it. The manager was like, "Oh my god, you're so cute, and I love your paws. Shop here forever." Also, the main reason why that cat would never be allowed in a store. Baby, that apron ain't stopping shit. It collects the hair. Unless his face is still not covered. Mm-hmm. He's still shedding. Like, <laughs> you have to literally cover your whole body to oh, stop but for, shedding. First off, bullshit. They allow pets in stores. I, you know, anytime I go to the store and I see somebody with a dog walking around. It's one thing to have a dog walking around. Well, not, 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 never, not in my, not in my stores. Um, but it's even so, it's one thing to have like a dog on a leash walking around. It's another for a cat to pick up stuff. I don't think the cat had mitts on. Like, just picking up with his hands. <laughs> like, no. Catist. No. No. Yeah, that's when the police get called. Because now you're well, just you're, ruining the you're product. You're the Karen. See, you're the Japanese Karen. You would be the Karen. Everyone else just likes cats and they're chill with the cats. You're like, fucking cats. Okay, well, you know what? You guys can enjoy your cat hair, your cat hair pasta, your cat hair steak, your cat hair uh, arroz con pollo. Um, I I don't know how to say cat. Wait, how do you. Fuck, I probably say. Gato de pelo? <laughs> uh, you're barking up the wrong tree. What? You're barking up the wrong tree. What do you mean? To try to explain Spanish to you. Right. Like gato de pelo de arroz con pollo. Like <laughs> and enjoy your cat hair soup, your cat hair vegetables, your cat hair everything except the meat because it's packaged. Um, if that's what you want, then go off. Not where I shop, though. <laughs> because, I mean, I, ooh, no, because I feel like <laughs> it's going to, If I want to say something, but it's going to make me sound like a Karen. Because <laughs> I was like, girl, you got like, by the, the, by the next week, to make sure that cat doesn't come back, or else I'm just calling uh, not the FDA. Um, sanitation, not sanitation. Sanitation's garbage. You know what I'm talking about? The people that the, the inspector, the food inspectors. Yeah. Cause I I just refuse to have food like cat hair in my food. Like I just, like he needs to put on a shower cat. No, just put on a hazmat suit. Put on a hazmat suit. And then I'd be like, this is okay. Mm. Now we're okay. It's not because he's a cat. It's just I don't want cat hair everywhere. If you, only if you want cat, cat hair lasagna, be my guest. Apparently there's dogs in your store, so you're already halfway there. There's dogs mm. in every store. You have to allow dogs in because they're service animals. So there. Okay, uh, well, you don't, well, okay, well, I don't shop with white people, so I don't have to experience <laughs> that. <laughs> um yeah that story that he explained that the chief went over that's so embarrassing like like he just threw up on him <laughs> like threw like she threw up got them kicked out and he had to take her home <laughs> like girl that would have been a sign to just get your life together mm. And I, and I feel like it's not going to be her. <laughs> that's not going to be her sign, unfortunately. That's so sad. But you know what? It's it's fine. Maybe she'll... Baby steps, I guess. Mm-hmm. 
maybe she'll throw up outside the bar instead, you know? Yeah, also, that's that, gross. Also, that scene where <laughs> the cat opens the door and just slaps the shit out of her was hilarious. <laughs> and of course, he was like, eh, I'm probably drunk. I didn't see that. Mm-hmm. No, some weird shit happens to me when I'm drunk. Let me tell y'all something. <laughs> like, it's I'm going to be talking about it forever because y'all be letting too many things go just because of alcohol. Admittedly, weed, that's a little 50 <laughs> 50. It's a real 50 50. No. Depending I on how. Alcohol is way more effective than weed at altering your personality. No, no I'm talking about in terms of like my senses. Alcohol oh. does not ruin my. Like, unless I'm blackout drunk, alcohol does not. Like I can still see what I see. Uh, I've never hallucinate. I've never hallucinated. <laughs> like straight up hallucinated something. Mm-hmm. My vision was always on par, even as drunk as I was. That's why I said when it comes to weed, it's a little different. Cause then I'm a little. That's when you know. I can think something. I can think I saw something I didn't see it to begin with. Mm. Oh. Yeah, no, this is this is a fine it's a fine episode. It was fun. Um gosh, she's such a mess. I <laughs> I'm kinda here for it where if, if, if this is gonna be a series where we just find new ways that she's just so down bad. Mm-hmm. Cause it was kinda funny. Alright. Up next we have Masamune Kun. No Revenge R, episode two. This was a whole mess. I'm glad I'm not the only one <laughs> who felt that way. Um, first of all, shout out to Muriel, who's just simply annoying as shit. She is so annoying. Wait, and who's that but, one? The, the, the blonde uh, one. The blonde girl. Yeah, no, she's cute. She's only no, no. She's six. fun. She's annoying. Okay, she's annoying to them, but she's fun for us. Yes, yeah. Fair enough. She's like a completely obnoxious, but very fun. Um. Also, can we just talk about how like I feel like feeding people? I I don't know. I don't think feeding people is that romantic. Not to me. Uh, I think it's more not n- n- not to yeah. me. It's like because it's something like I would, I would feed a and child. That's very <laughs> right, good. I'm glad you said it about me. I I don't like baby. I don't like babying my partner. <laughs> it's like I don't want. I don't want to feed them. I don't want them to like sleep on my lap. I ugh. wait. What? I feel like that's very babyish. Now you don't want them to sleep on your Sleep on my lap. shoulder, fine. But don't, like, actually lay down in my lap. Oh my god, please don't ever say this to a woman, ever. What? That's super baby. Unless... <laughs> uh, um... <laughs> Me, no, at home, fine. Wait, I need... In public. Oh. Okay. That's important. But <laughs> that's I'm a horrible one. Like, no, no touching. Don't you fucking touch me. I'm speaking <laughs> specifically about just PDA stuff. Um... <clears throat> but um yeah that i don't like I, I you know it some things is fine some things you can find you can feed I each mean, other it's, it's romantic if they're like an old couple and they don't have any teeth so one with us that's not romantic that's that's it's just like cute. that's just like a like a, a like a it, it, i can understand yeah it's cute because it's a sign of love i get it <laughs> Like, it's one of those things where I'm just like, like, if I'm on a date, and we both have different desserts, and I'm just like, oh my god, oh, can that, I try like, one of your, like, yeah, can I try one of your desserts, and then you're just like, mm, okay, here you go, mm, and like that. Yeah, but right. not, let's eat the same sandwich, or whatever. Take a yeah. bite out of my sandwich is wild. <laughs> no, no, taking a bite is fine. Feeding them the sandwich with your hands <laughs> is wild. Like, no, girl, just let's just eat our sandwiches. Yeah. Like, I will uh, cut uh, you a piece uh, of the sandwich. 
I don't even mind you taking a bite out of my sandwich, but I'm not feeding it to you. <laughs> <laughs> Just take, just grab the sandwich yourself and bite it. Mm. Like. No. <laughs> it's, not, it's not cute. It's not cute at all. Mm-mm-mm. Yeah, so, like, I totally understand. Well, okay, I wouldn't go as far as to slap the sandwich out of her hands, but it is anime. But, <laughs> mm-hmm. yeah, I've been like, no, girl, I can't do this. This is too much. Like, sandwich is, like, one of the, some of the most unsexy things to feed. That's, like, that's, like, Picking up a whole steak with your fork and be, and like being like, here, take a bite. <laughs> Jeez, Louise. Mm-mm-mm. I don't know why I just got this image in my mind of someone feeding someone else a baked potato. <laughs> <laughs> right. I think it's the worst things to feed someone else. Like, if someone just tries to like feed me like a raw carrot. <laughs> <laughs> it's just like it's not even cooked or anything. Just, just a strip carrot. Mm, eat it, babe. Like what? Mm-mm-mm. Um. Fuck, I forgot what happened. So, okay, so something happened that made me say that the a lot of shit happened. A lot of shit happened that I was not following because I was like, all right, this is clearly an anime where everyone's got mistaken identities, and I don't remember enough about the first season to know which one is mistaken about who. Right, okay, I'm remembering as you said that sentence in a flashback. That 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 prank where he's pretending to like unalive himself. Suic- yeah, that was kind of fucked up. Well, I was like, holy Like that's extreme. Shit. I don't even feel bad for the bullies. Like, wow, you're a fucked up kid. <laughs> you, nah, you I You were about I, to guilt the bullies to thinking that they killed you? <laughs> nah, nah, fuck fuck them bullies though. They were they were mean. Well yeah, fuck them but still. <laughs> yeah, no, it was wild though. That was wild. He was like, you guys <laughs> he was like, you guys are my thirteenth reason and <laughs> And yeah, and they're like, haha, just kidding, and then spray, and spray them with the extinguisher. JK, I wasn't really gonna kill myself. Yeah, that was, uh... Pranked. That was a lot. Get pranked. Mm-mm-mm. What gagged me, but also annoyed me, was the whole point where, like, he gets angry and, like, gets mad at her. And all she says is, oh, I thought you were willing to listen to me. Guess not. And just walks away. I'm like, so you're not even going to. I mean, like, and I get it. This is going to be kind of a uh, school rumble-esque. Oh, God, yeah. I was thinking that. I was like, this gave me serious school rumble vibes. Because all she had to do was being like, huh, wow, it's like. You were there. Mm-hmm. Would you care to explain what you meant by that reaction? Yeah, why is your reaction so visceral and angry to the story I'm telling you about? No, she just got mad, and they got mad. So, yeah, this is... Funny enough, when you talk about every time you don't like the whole drama for the sake of drama, this is the, it's this good, is yeah. The, this is exactly yeah. what I'm talking about. <laughs> yeah. This is it. And see, that's, and this is why I like Kuzuno Honkai more. Because at least it's like stupid shit and like sex. Like, <laughs> at least they add that. Like, like it's like they're going full board trashy. This is just like, oh my god. No, so, you're mad at me and I'm mad at you and we're mad at each other. Like, at least with Kuzuno Honkai, okay, y'all all bugging, but y'all all ha- having sex. So at least that makes sense because. Sex makes everyone crazy, so yeah. Go ahead, sorry, what are you saying? So I'm gonna assume that Yoshino is the one who turned him down in the window? Yeah. Yeah, because we did get some... We get, like, it turned into a mystery now. Yeah. And we're just like, okay, so something happened. And I think she's aware of who he is. And the reason she's helping him is to, like, make up for that. I, I vaguely remember that being a plot. Maybe I'm just, my mind is trying to invent some sense out of the plot, but I feel like that's the plot. Like, she remembers doing that to him, so she's, like, working with him as a way of, like, atoning for that. But oh, he doesn't did, know that yeah. she was the one who rejected him. 
and he thinks it was Aki, and Aki's just like, what? What the fuck is going on? <laughs> yeah. But I don't know why Yoshino would re- reject him. You say you don't why? I don't know why she would have rejected him in the first place, like, when mm. they were kids. Pretending to be Aki and being like, oh, get the fuck out of here. I, I mean, most likely, more, more than likely, it's probably because, like, orders from the parents. Yeah, yeah maybe. Maybe. Ah, we see her Ooh, having fun. Poor kid. She's having fun? Fuck that. Mm-hmm. Yoshino disposes of him. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Oh. I mean, I guess, yeah. But again, I, just... I don't like plots where the whole plot can be unraveled if the main characters just decide to sit down for five minutes and talk about it. Agreed. But, yeah, whatever. Um, and our last show of the night? Yes. yes, our last show of the night. Hulk! Episode 1. I don't know why I put 2. Episode 1. The new show of the, uh, of the season that you guys voted for. Mm-hmm. And, yeah, at first I was like, why? <laughs> <laughs> I didn't get it at first, cause... But as the episode get went on, I was just like, "Huh, is this, is this this anime is doing a lot of things at the same time." I kind of like it though because we don't really have a a hectic anime like this this season. Agreed. Yeah, like the the, the main character Hulk. I, and I like how it starts off very cute first. Like, it's very, like, ha oh, silly. Like, he's a human hero, being up demons. And then then they're changing, you know, then they hit Vermilion. She just gets angry and blows shit up with her magic. And then By the way, I'm, ha- I'm going to call her Hulk, like, 50,000 times on a stake because I keep calling her Hulk in my mind. Because she's on the poster, yeah. Yes, exactly. <laughs> I mean, I don't call her Hulk because that's like an ugly name for a woman. Well, it's, it's, it sounds very uh, Vinland Saga Norwegian. <laughs> You're like, ah, yes, this is Hulk. <laughs> I, I, I am Hulk. I gave, I gave the birth to the cattle. Yes, exactly. Um, but yeah. So then, so then they like change the competition to do something else and he just succeeds and this does everything, and it just gets very silly. And it's like, ah, this is so fun. Da, 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 da. And then I feel like the whole there's such a tone shift towards like the end. Oh yeah, it got really serious, right? <laughs> and plot, like the the back the the plot itself is pretty serious, right? It's like, oh yeah, we tried looking up information about help, can't find him, but like. The, all these villages are empty. There's no humans in there. Also, he killed his brother. Also, his brother was the hero who beat our last demon lord. Mm-hmm. Um, and and then meanwhile, he's just like, ha ha! I'm just so happy, go lucky, ha ha! And then he like smashes. And then they're playing that rock paper scissors game. He like. I think he smashes the helmet. Uh-huh. And I'm just like... Oh, it's giving... Unstable vibes. It's giving, right, it's giving unstable. It's giving potential psychopath. Yeah. I like the... um, the like it was, it was a good twist, because the implication at the start of the episode is like, oh, Hulk is the hero who stopped the, <clears throat> the Demon Lord. And I'm like thinking, like, oh, this is another one of those shows where it's the... uh. The hero saves everyone from the demons, and then he ends up becoming a demon lord because the humans don't like him anymore. Which, funny enough, is a new subplot of fantasy shows that we're getting all of a sudden. Yeah. But then it kind of turns on its head. It's like, nope, actually he killed his brother and probably maybe killed the rest of the villages around the castle. But they're not even dead. Or, like, disappeared them. I don't know. Or it could have been the angels. Um, Maybe. yeah, and then I love how at the beginning, they're just like, Vermillion's like, haha, like, like, why are you guys falling for his act? It's clearly an act, he doesn't, he, you know, he's clearly just trying to trick us, 
Uh-huh. And it's like, mm, they kind of called, they kind of said he is one of the worst criminals in human history. <laughs> <laughs> so I, I, are we sure that's so far away from the truth? So yeah, I feel like it's like, it's like, there's such a mystery to, to mm-hmm. all this. I'm, I'm very intrigued. Yeah, it's a good setup episode for the rest of the series. I'm looking forward to seeing where it goes. Yeah, same, same, same. Um, yeah. Uh, also, I'm like, do they not know what angels are? <laughs> I guess not. Yeah, I, I, I guess they don't. Um, yeah, that is, uh, that's it for Hulk. And I believe that's the rest of our weekly reviews as well as the podcast. Yes, it nice, is. quick, succinct, and to the point. Point. Oh god, I miss having episodes like that. Oni, yes. please take us away. So nice to have seven episodes out of eight. Guys, if you enjoyed this episode of the Wife Wars podcast, make sure you hit that like button and subscribe so you catch every episode as they go up every week. If you haven't already, do follow us over on Twitch, follow us on Twitter, and join the party on our Discord, all linked in the description down below. You can also become a channel member or support us on Patreon and get some awesome member benefits. But Drew, do you have anything you'd like to add? Um... Anything I'd like to add? Oh, oh, okay, okay. Very quickly, very quick tangent. That's because this episode was so fast. Mm-hmm. Started watching, and I meant to talk about this during the podcast, not the podcast, during the stream yesterday. Um, My Home Hero. Did I talk to you about it? Did we talk about uh, it? Briefly, yeah. Y'all. Everyone needs to watch it. The mom is the best character. It's not even close. I'm like, I'm such a stan. I forget what her name is. I just call her Okasan. She, the, when I, yo, it's like, I'm, I'm stuck in between whether I want to be her or I want to marry a man that's like her. She is, when I tell you she is, when she is down Oni, yo, she is down oh my god yeah that show is so good i'm gonna keep watching it tonight actually now now i think about it it is very 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 good it's very good also i'm i'm convinced that dude killed someone before in the past life i don't care what nobody says he definitely killed someone before well on that note or do you have anything else you want to (laughs) add No, no, that's it. All right. And that note, this has been Soroni and... Do we do? We'll catch you later. Later. Bye.